What's up, fellow Lords of Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Marvel Future Fight. Today, we're jumping right into taking a look at Craven. My man looks menacing. He looks more like a freaking god than just a human running around on the battlefield. I'm loving it. Like, dude, the uniform, the dude looks amazing. It's not as... The uniform's not as great as compared to, like, Goblin or some of the previous uniforms. Like, you see all the detail went into this facial look and to make him look menacing up there. And then, like, we get down below here... And it's like, yo, what the hell? Like, let me double check my settings and make sure that this shit is on high. Because I'm like, yo, what the hell? Graphics are high, high. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, my man Craven, I thought thought they would do better for him. Like, my dude, like, needed some more detail, basically, inside the clothing, the clothing and stuff like that. Like, just not a whole lot of detail. They put definitely put a lot of work into his shaft and uh, his spear. But then you get into like some of this other stuff and it, it just kind of the uniform falls apart a little bit. Like even his sword on him right here doesn't look very much detail. You can look at look at the blade handle and stuff like that. And like, why did you guys like it feels lazy a little bit like everything is meant to draw your attention here. But it's like you still can't help but to see this stuff. It just falls flat like it. Everything definitely looks flat. The colors look flat, but. I have to say, I do like th this part of the character up here. He looks pretty amazing. I just wish they would have went into that level of detail for the rest of his skin, and he would have looked great. Like, the body uh, the body mechanics and stuff like that, the musculature looks really good, but then we get into there, and he's like, yo, what the hell is, what, what's happening here, right? Like, you guys just, like, missed the beat there for some reason. I don't know what it is. It's I can show you other uniforms and give you the comparison for comparison's sakes, but it is what it is. Like, you're just gonna have to trust me, right? So, th there's no point in comparing Craven to what he was previously because what he was previously was nothing. Like, compared to where we at right now in the game, he had no uniform. This is his very first, uh, oops, my bad. <clears throat> this is his very first uniform effect. So, or uniform that he's gotten for the character, period. So, like, we can compare his previous skills that he has, but trust me, it's not a whole lot there. So, for instance, with this uniform, he basically has a, a new uh, support passive for all Sinister Six abilities. So, um, on his, he's basically going to increase basic damage dealt to the super villain and hero faction by 35 percent and then he gets an increased skill damage by 30 percent and increased bonus damage by 30 percent with the new uniform so by that alone i think that green goblin and mr uh excuse me doc ock are gonna be be such in the playing pool that you're gonna want to have this character if not this uniform if not just to boost and support those characters like they are going to put that Sinister Six abilities on the all of the uniforms for Green Goblin, except for the um, Iron Patriot uniform, the Goblin Patriot, whatever you want to call it, right? So his passive skill, which was previously Spear Hunt, right, um, is now called uh, is now called Extraordinary Senses. The skill doesn't get a whole lot, which is surprising, right? Because he basically gets a five percent increase to the guaranteed crit rate and 5% to the dodge rate. And then he also has, he loses out on the skill damage uh, and the increased bonus damage because that seemingly has been moved to his to the uniform effect. And he's essentially getting uh, super armor and then increase all basic defenses by 10%. Uh, yeah, so it, they've moved one skill there. Predatory was his other passive is now called Covert Stalker. Um, that skill had the all defense down on it, but now we're getting, um, he has an activation rate when the skill spear throw is used. So it's going to be his second skill. Um, he gets a 30% increase of physical attack. So that means that more than likely you're going to want to be looking at when you trigger that because that has a cooldown time of one second, which means that essentially he should be getting that skill a lot right and or activating that passive now here goes the really crazy part about this skill is that he also gets invisibility and ignore targeting for five seconds when that skill activates so spear throw is his two skill that means you're gonna end up running into that skill or using that skill in rotation quite a bit like he's getting invisibility and ignore targeting just just take that for what what it is right so his one skill 
previously quietest blow now hunter's tactic he has even less on his first skill than he had previously because at least previous uh well i guess he got more bleed is there in my opinion and then we get the uh physical damage has been decreased though because it's 104 percent here but it's now 75 percent but he does get bleed on that skill for quietest blow poaching is now a uh, spear throw we don't get snare but you do have stun for three seconds applies to enemies and then you get the physical damage increase of 135 percent of physical attack so it's boosted here but the main part to know about this spear throw is that you're activating his passive which is covert stalker which means you're gonna want to get this because you're getting the increase in physical attack and visibility and ignore targeting for five seconds and that skills on a one second cooldown this skills on a four second cooldown so spear throw is going to have four second cooldown because it's a total of eight seconds have that by four by a half and you basically get four which means you're going to have uptime a lot for that increase that 30 percent increase of physical attack and that invisibility so you're definitely going to be rope working in to the two skill into your rotation so then we've got his third skill was now law of the wild his previous skill was called beast call so he's getting a whole lot here right we get the bleed that's still there for 30 percent damage we gain stun and silence and then we get the damage accumulation here so he gets 100 percent chance chance to grant all immune uh all damage immunity and then he accumulates 10 percent of pure damage when attacking but he only gets like 0.7 i wish we stopped seeing that like i like i don't know how they work out those numbers when they say it's like between 0.6 and one or whatever but it's weird like oh, i hate seeing that but anyways so his so damage accumulation is there on his on his third skill so you're still working and this and the good thing is that is um pure damage when attacking right so it's not uh like damage received so that's good right so then we get his uh fourth skill and that is called uh perfect hunt now was trap spear we lose the snare but we gain stun for three seconds and then you get burn which deals 30 percent fire damage on that skill so not a whole lot there we'll have to see how the skill looks apex predator is where he's going to get a lot so we get uh it's now called bomb net and he gets burn for five snare for three seconds we lose the stun he decreases all basic defenses for up to 50 percent, and then he recovers 30 percent of hp he also gains invincibility on this skill so he's got a lot of protection that's basically going for him he also gains an awakening skill so you'll be able to see the awakening up here just to show you what it is so he's basically getting awakened along with uh his two buddies rhino and uh lizard and we get the critical increase uh rate increase by 35 the critical damage by 35 the ignore target dodge rate by 70 and 70 percent chance to penetrate removes all debuffs and he also has a frenzy buff as well so his is going to be interesting rotation i'm not exactly to be honest with you i'm never really sure like the awakening characters they always have these weird effects but let's switch over to the uniform because it's there's no point in comparing those uniforms at all to be perfectly honest so if we were to compare the uniforms inside here excuse me um and we go into the character skill trees let's see what the skills look like what we can cancel what we can't cancel out of nice little uh you know working in there man it's just weird because this the the skirt is just so flat right like i get it they should be muted natural colors he is a hunter so he needs to be in the dark but the colors just look with the the flatness of the 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 skirt that he's wearing here just falls even more flat so you're probably not going to be rotating into the one skill a lot right because there's just not a whole lot there nice iframes on the skill and just a really simple like you know manly kind of attack that we got going on there um so his two skill you're going to be wanting to work into that so we get there at the two oh wow i didn't think it was going to go through the target there but well, that's nice right so two two is in there got the iframe you can still cancel right into it his third skill is going to be why I, what i'm confused about is why my cooldown times inside of the practice is really messed up but anyways so we got his third skill which is going to be his uh damage accumulation on his skill let's see what that looks like not bad i like that i like that so we got two it's going to increase his boost of his physical attack let me see so you can see covert stalker was activated there right like i want to show you that 
so you can see it and there goes the five seconds covert stalker he's invisibility and ignore targeting for five seconds important to notice that Let's see can we cancel out of three yes so you can cancel out of three that's good right i mean it's accumulation skill so you want to be able to cancel so then we get his fourth skill which is perfect hunt decent skill i like it i like it i like it i like it so three we can cancel out of that i wonder if you can immediately cancel out of it is what i'm wearing so we're definitely going two then you're probably going three then maybe four or five that's what i'm thinking right now let me see two three well we'll have to see four so wait a minute wait a minute so you can't immediately cancel out of that skill like you i mean you can still get it you can see like the up here the law of the wild is going so you can immediately cancel out of it but you don't get the effects if you immediately cancel out of it. so like it's three wait for that to pop up and then you can cancel out of it the so it's delay cancel on the three to cancel out of it and get some of the effects but four looks like we can't cancel out of it you can't immediately cancel out of four so let's see if there's a delay effect on four so we go three so we're definitely still going to go two three um so then we have four let's see if we delay it to when it comes down no it's like all the damage just starts disappearing so you're probably going to end on four i think that's what it's going to look like let me see so if i go five inside here net skill i like the five skill nice nice attacks there but it definitely looks like there's more damage to be had on there so maybe two three five four yeah let me go to the practice and see what they've got so the initial combo is going to be five three four okay so we go five three oh i messed it up and then we go four so reset the combo so you got the rotation here and it's five it's a delay three and then four okay so it's weird because they do want you to immediately cancel out of the out of the three it looks like and then rotate into four but you do have the delay i don't know what's going on with this in my rotation but, but five three and then four so let's see what the reset of the combo looks like so we're basically going five oops mess that up so you're on five three and then four what how am i messing this up five three and then four there we go okay so you're still getting somewhat of a slight delay from the from the five and then his second combo is yeah we thought this was gonna i thought that was gonna be so it's still the same thing you're just starting out with six yeah i wanted to see what the six looks like it's a little weird because you've got lizard and rhino and they look so old inside of here like you're like mm, i don't know so good to know we can immediately cancel out of the jesus christ so this is gonna be this is gonna be one of those combos for me to learn right um jesus that's a long cooldown so we're essentially going six into five delay into three and then into four that's that's essentially the combo that you have there for him so now the weird part about this however though right is that i don't think this is the right combo because why would we totally ignore the two inside this entire combo it doesn't kind of make sense to me that we would ignore, ignore two so like because two is giving you the increased physical attack right and then two is also giving you the invisibility and the ignore targeting so in my mind you would probably instead of going for those combos like the practice combo here is five three four um and then uh the comp so excuse me practice combos five three four and the second one is six five three four but I think that's what you would want to do is basically go two five three four or two six five three four. Like so that way you get that uptime from there. So I would probably go like two five delay cancel three and then into four. Like that's essentially what I would think you would want to be doing instead of missing out on that crucial passive skill. Otherwise, what's the point of the passive skill being there? Like it's it's questionable right because like i'm like that doesn't make sense i think i would want to go two five three and then four like that just makes sense and like you can see when we're canceling into five here because we're going jesus like how did i just automatically cancel this because we go five and then three so it's like a delay when the net comes down is basically what you're looking at 
So like if you wait for this window here on three to start going, you can see it just failed automatically. Like I just, all I did was press five. Like this needs some work, but we basically go like, look at that. It failed again. Like I didn't press anything for it to go, but five and you see that. And then he's like, basically the net comes out. So it's basically going to be rotating that five net goes up and then you can go into three and then you can go into four. So this is going to be great system when it's working properly for players to kind of get an understanding because you can then like see the rotation because it's going to be like five net goes out in the sky and then you basically come inside there. So as soon as the net goes up, that's when you can cast the three skill. You can rotate from the three into the four. And you can get your damage. However, like I said, to me, it seems more, it seems better that you would go to five. He throws in that three and then four. Unless for some reason or another, this is going to somehow mess up his uh, his his trigger, right? Uh, your 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 custom gear trigger. So I would still probably look at that and go two five. He throws the net up in the air three and then into four. Like that to me seems like the better combo to go inside of this. And then the same would be two six five three four two six. Oh, my bad. Sh goddamn skill wasn't up. Like, what the heck is going on here? But the same skill being like, because you can immediately cancel out a six and rotate into five, you still basically have the, the delay. So like, I gotta go all the way out of this to do this. But you basically go two, six, five, wait for the net to go up, three, four. Like, that seems like the skill combo that you're going for. Like, two and a five and a four, two, five, three, four, or two, five, six, whatever. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I definitely think he's not going to be the meta character of this update. Like, that's just the truth of the matter. I don't think there's going to be a lot of people that buy into him. And realistically, with looking at him, he's really going to fall into the support type character class where he's going to provide you some sort of boost. Um, I don't feel like he's going to be anybody's DPS character anyway. So you're essentially buying this uniform if you know that you're going to be playing other Sinister Six characters. If you absolutely feel like you're going to need him to boost up Green Goblin or to boost up Doc Ock or stuff like that. But I don't feel like this is a must buy uniform because, well, uh, let me not say that. It's Craven's first uniform. So in that, it gives the character a big boost. And if you're headhunting for additional material then, uh, for, you know, Alliance Battle and Alliance Battle Extreme, stuff like that, then yes, this is going to be a character for you to pick up. But I don't feel like the uniform out of the three is a must buy. Like, I definitely feel like Green Goblin is a must buy uniform. But I think that Doc Ock is going to be one of those things like it's a boost for the character overall. However, it's going to be more, you know, honed in on are you planning on taking this character to tier four? Or is he go is he going to replace any of your other combat supervillains? And then you have Kraven, who is just a support character. This uniform is going to support other characters. He's probably going to be strong enough to survive on his own. He's got a nice, decent kit. But you're really focused on this character for the support char support characteristics of the uniform effect more than you are for what this character is probably going to provide to you any 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 meaningful way but i do like the kit in terms of the passive skill giving invisibility and nor targeting and that boost because it gives you something to work in is almost like hulk's third ability where he's like raging up and then you rotate into his skills we use his third and he rotates into his other skills you like he's his gamma rage or whatever it's called i can't remember what it is but you're basically using the two in that same way giving craven the buff for his two skill and then rotating into your skills. I don't know why the practice combo doesn't specifically call that out unless it's going to mess up with your trigger. And at that point, you're probably going to want to put a rage on a character or something. But the, the real combo seems to be for the character that you would go to and then delay cancel five, three, and then four on the character so that way you get the most out of the character. That to me seems like the combo. Like it, it just does. So I, I'm a little confused at the combo system here doesn't really i don't know it doesn't make sense two six five wait for the net to go up three and then four you see what i'm saying like I, that seems to be the combo wow that's a lot of fucking hits i'm gonna have to see how dude performs inside like world boss legend or something like that but 
that's a lot of hits for a character inside there. Divide that up by three of these characters over here is pretty nice. So I'm going to say that the combo is not 5-3-4, that it's going to be 2-5-3-4 and 2-6-5-3-4 is what the combo is going to be. But, you know, leave a comment in the section below. And let me know if you feel different. But I don't know why you would not be casting his spirit throw skill on two. It just seems like a waste of a passive if that's what they built in for the combo. It just doesn't make sense. Let me know what you guys think. Until next time, peace.